Hey everybody, in this video, I'm gonna show you a really quick and easy way to add a flying follower to your character in Unreal Engine. This is a great technique to use if you wanna add a fairy or a bird that follows your character around in your game. All right, let's get started. You'll start by accessing your character blueprint. In the components panel, select add and search for spring arm. Make sure the spring arm is nested as a child beneath your character mesh. Next, select add again and search for skeletal mesh. This will be nested as a child beneath the spring arm you just added. With the skeletal mesh component highlighted, move over to the details panel on the right hand side and search for your desired follower in the mesh dropdown. Make sure to rotate your followers so they are facing the same direction as your character. Next, let's make adjustments to the spring arm. With your spring arm component selected, you can modify the target arm length in the details panel to adjust the distance between your follower and character. In the details panel, search for lag and enable camera lag and camera rotation lag. Enabling the lag will smooth out the follower's movements and the lower the number, the smoother the movements will be, as long as the number isn't zero. All right, select your skeletal mesh again and choose use animation asset for the animation mode in the details panel. Search for the follower's idle animation and select it. And there you have it, a quick and effective way to add a flying follower to your character. Now this method is very simple and may not look great with every type of flying follower. A way to expand on this and make the animations look more natural is by creating an animation blueprint for your follower. Before we make our anim blueprint, we need to create a blend space. Right click in the content browser, go to animation and select blend space 1D and choose your follower's skeleton. Here you can add your idle walk and run animations for your character. The character I'm using in this video doesn't have a run animation, so I'm just using the idle and move animations. For best practice, I'm renaming the horizontal axis named speed and making some minor changes. Once your blend space is set up, right click in the content browser again and select animation and then animation blueprint. And again, choose the appropriate skeleton. Open up the animation blueprint and access the anim graph. Drag your newly created blend space into the graph and connect it to the result. Then promote the speed to a variable. To make this next step easier, we're gonna be accessing the third person animation blueprint as a reference. Choose the event graph and select the is valid and speed components and then plug them into your followers animation blueprint. And there you go. Now your follower will animate alongside your character. If you found this video helpful and would like to see more tutorials for Unreal Engine, be sure to click the like button or let me know in the comments. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.